Since the first computers were created in the 1940s, the development of computers has been a fascinating and challenging subject. With each decade that has passed, computers have become stronger, quicker, and more adaptable. In this video, we will take a closer look at the history of computers and how they have evolved since the 1940s. Before starting, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. So let's start. The first electrical computers were introduced in the 1940s, which led to the development of the first computers. Comparatively speaking, these computers were exceedingly archaic. The majority of them were created as a single unit, and they required manual switches and paper tape for programming. Large-scale computations were required that people were unable to do on their own, prompting the creation of the first computers. Calculations involving ballistic missile trajectories and other computations were done on these devices. As time passed, computers' processing power increased and the underlying technology advanced. Vacuum tubes, which were the forerunner of transistors, were used in the construction of the earliest computers. Electricity was employed by vacuum tubes to modify and regulate the energy flow as well as to magnify a signal. These tubes were big, ineffective, and they used a lot of electricity. Despite this, the speed and dependability of vacuum tubes made them very popular. The first computer's capacity was likewise very constrained. Several hundred bytes, or a few pages of text, were the maximum amount of memory available on the majority of computers in the 1940s. They could only conduct the most fundamental computations because of how sluggish and ineffective they were in comparison to current computers. Computers started off as being less effective and less powerful as technology advanced. Vacuum tubes were replaced by transistors, and computers started to do increasingly difficult jobs like word processing and data storage. The introduction of the microprocessor in the 1970s changed computing and made it possible for machines to be much more potent and effective. Computers are a necessary component of modern life. Computers can now store enormous quantities of data and carry out complicated computations in a fraction of a second thanks to their increased power. Computers are now utilized in almost every part of our life and are also becoming more and more economical. In comparison to modern computers, the earliest ones developed in the 1940s were exceedingly archaic. Yet these early machines set the path for today's remarkable advancements in computing technology. We wouldn't have the robust computers we know and love today without these early devices. The transistor was created in the 1950s, which marked a significant development in computer technology. Vacuum tubes were replaced by bulky transistors, which resulted in much smaller and more energy-efficient computers. The first computer programming languages, such Fortran and COBOL, were created during this decade, allowing users to create computer programs. Modern electronics had a significant period of development in the 1960s. Early in the 1960s, the first integrated circuits, ICs, were being created, and semiconductor technology was still in its infancy. Integrated circuits, often known as chips or ICs, are little electronic devices that include all of the necessary transistors, capacitors, resistors, and diodes. A single substrate, usually a silicon wafer, is utilized to link these parts, and the resultant circuit may be applied in a number of different ways. Early in the 1960s, Fairchild Semiconductor and Texas Instruments, two businesses, created the first integrated circuits. In 1961, Fairchild Semiconductor created the Fairchild 103, the first integrated circuit. This integrated circuit, IC, which was used in a number of applications, included transistors, capacitors, and resistors, the fundamental building blocks of a circuit. The first commercial integrated circuit, IC, the SN500, was created by Texas Instruments in 1962 and utilized in computers and other electronic devices. Modern computing was made possible by the introduction of integrated circuits, which also changed the electronics sector. ICs made it possible to create circuits that were more powerful and complicated that could be employed in a range of applications. For instance, ICs made it possible to create computers that could do computations far more quickly than earlier models. ICs also made it possible to create previously difficult to manufacture electrical products like TVs and radios. Integrated circuit development in the 1960s also had a significant effect on the industrial sector. ICs made it possible to produce circuits that were more powerful and sophisticated than ever before at a much lower cost. This made it possible for manufacturers to build more electrical gadgets than ever before, and at a lower cost. As a consequence, the price of electronics drastically dropped, making them more accessible to the typical customer. 
The contemporary world has been significantly impacted by the introduction of integrated circuits in the 1960s. The microprocessor was created in the 1970s, and its invention completely changed the computer sector. Hundreds of transistors and other parts might be replaced by a single chip, greatly increasing the power and effectiveness of computers. The first personal computers, such the Apple II and IBM PC, were created during this decade as well, greatly enhancing the general public's access to computers. The graphical user interface, GUI, and the mouse were developed in the 1980s. Users could now communicate with computers without having to input instructions, which made computers simpler to operate. The first workstations, which were significantly more powerful than personal computers, were also introduced during this decade. The World Wide Web and the Internet both saw significant development in the 1990s. This increased the power and versatility of computers while allowing individuals to access and exchange information from all around the globe. The first handheld computers, including the Apple Newton and Palm Pilot, were also introduced in this decade, further enhancing the portability of computers. Mobile phones and tablets, which were effectively pocket-sized computers, were first introduced in the 2000s. The first social media platforms, like Facebook and Twitter, were created in this decade as well, allowing users to exchange information and maintain contact with friends and family. Computers are more competent and powerful than ever nowadays. This is as a result of the rapid advancements in computer technology over the last several decades. Our lives would not be the same without computers, and they now offer tremendous powers. The development of more potent processors is the primary cause of the rising power of computers. Very powerful and capable of processing massive quantities of data at breakneck rates are modern processors. New memory technologies, such RAM and solid-state drives, which enable computers to retrieve data much more quickly, have helped with this. The creation of software is another important component that has greatly increased the capability of computers today. Current software is designed to make the most of computers' processing capacity and enable them to do increasingly difficult jobs. This comprises graphic design and video editing software, as well as machine learning, artificial intelligence, and many more apps. Keyboards, mouse, and joysticks are just a few of the numerous peripherals and devices that have been made possible by advancements in computer technology. These add-ons make computers easier to operate and enable users to communicate with them more efficiently. Computers are now much more potent because to the development of wireless technology, which has made it possible for them to connect to the internet and other devices. This is it for today's video. What do you think of our video? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. Thanks for watching.